had moved on as Williams' test driver. And Frank Williams took Damon on to fill the vacancy. He was test driver in the same year that Nigel Mansell went on to win the World Championship. And Damon had a Grand Prix chance of his own, albeit with an uncompetitive team, the Brabham. This gave him an opportunity to learn the Grand Prix circuits and study his competitors, while Williams gave him a chance to get experience from a top Grand Prix team in Formula One. The stage was set. Damon, I suppose you'd really like to be dressed in those clothes for the British Grand Prix. I, I wouldn't mind sleeping in them, actually, you know. <laughs> I feel uh, part of the Williams team when I'm wearing the overalls, and uh, obviously they're very successful. And the car is uh, currently probably the best racing car that's ever been built, best Formula One car. Now, this year you've been trying very hard to qualify a Brabham. Looking towards the future, do you think that you're going to have a regular Formula One seat in 93, and do you believe that it'll be a competitive one? I can't say that. I, I, I have to, my, it's all very much in the lap of the gods. I mean, I'm trying very hard to attract some sort of sponsorship so that I can uh, go along to the best Formula One team and, and persuade them that I'm what they need. There seems to be a resurgence of British drivers at the moment, not the least in the French Grand Prix a while ago, where we had three in the first six. Do you think that can continue? Certainly, I, I mean, with, with Herbert going well now in the Lotus as well, you've got, um, uh, you know, got a strong British contingent. And of course, Nigel's leading the way. And hopefully I'll join the rest of them soon. Well, let's hope that uh, the next time we see you in this sort of livery, you're behind the wheel of a car that is competitive. Thank you. At the end of 1992, Nigel Mansell moved on to Cart from Williams and made that dream come true for Damon Hill. He was 32 years old and would win his first Grand Prix when he was younger than his father. Frank, what sort of pressure were you under, if any, um, to appoint a British driver in terms of public opinion, but also the sponsors and uh, your partners? Mm, absolutely not. The various partners who invest in this team sometimes have a preference for a driver of one particular nationality. But because our partners are very global, they are very international, there was never any real pressure to go for an Englishman, a Frenchman, or otherwise. And I would emphasize that Damon was selected totally and purely on merit. I'm thrilled to bits because I've worked very hard, I think, to, to get this drive. And um, I've sort of beaten off uh, all comers and uh, for whatever reason I'm sitting in the car now for 93 and um, I'm looking forward to every minute of it. These last couple of months since Nigel announced he was retiring must have uh, really seen you with your heart in your mouth because you knew there was a chance. Yeah. Yeah, all these other names were in the hat and yeah. Martin Brundle was out and then suddenly Hackenham might be in and yeah. you must have been really worried. Um, well, I, I took the view that you can't uh, miss what you've never had, and so until there was actually uh, seriously there with a chance, um, I, uh, I just did everything I could to try and make things happen for me. And um, it, it, as I said, it's worked out in my favour. And uh, I, I had the opportunity of testing and showing what I could do in testing, but apart from that, I've had very little uh, opportunity to, to try and pull any levers or whatnot. So um, I'm very, very excited that I'll be driving next year. I think your father, Graham, would have been very proud of you today. Well, thank you very much. I, th I, th I hope he would have been, and uh, it's, a, it's a shame he's not here, but I, I still feel that he's, uh, he's with me in spirit anyway. In 1993, Damon Hill partnered Alain Prost and the Williams team. The Frenchman went on to take the world title, but not before Damon had provided him with a tremendous fight, particularly towards the end of the year, when he won a number of the Grand Prix. At the end of the season, Prost went on to retirement and was replaced in the Williams team by the redoubtable Ayrton Senna. The story of 1994 is almost like a replay of Lotus in 1968 after the death of Jim Clark. The death of Senna saw the fortunes of Williams rest on Damon Hill's shoulders. It went down to the very last race of the season and the disputed collision between Hill and Michael Schumacher, who went on to take the championship. Few could have believed that Damon Hill could achieve so much in so short a time. 
The 1995 press conference at Williams. A new teammate, David Coulthard, and everything to go for in a new season with new cars and less downforce. Already, the fight for the championship is on between Damon Hill and Michael Schumacher. But there's no question in the mind of Damon Hill as to where his ambitions lie. World champion. You can only really go one better this year, can't you? Two points better than I did last year. <laughs> if I could do that, I'd be happy, yeah. Uh, I think that um, the motivation this year for me is that I, I know I start the season as a strong challenger and I, I know that I can give Michael or whoever else is coming along uh, a tough time and, uh, and the goal is to win the championship, there's no doubt about that. Going back to your father, how much do you put down to his personality, what you've inherited from him and, and the way, the relationship you've had with him to, to where you are today? I, I put down a good, uh, good 80% the values and the the guidance that he gave, and just watching from an early age all the things he did and how he was how he concentrated and how he worked, I think that's bound to have rubbed off and um, it affected the way I approached the job. Um, but I feel like I'm doing what I'm doing. I feel like it's Damon Hill doing the job, but thanks to a lot of um, instruction unconscious instruction from, from a father. And if you were to pick out one thing that you've inherited from him more than anything else, which has allowed you to be successful in motor racing, what would you say it was? I think it's the one message he, he his entire life uh, gave was that you should never give up. Never ever give up. Because there's one thing for sure, you're, you know, you're never going to, you, you will fail if you give up, whereas if you don't give up, there's always a chance you might succeed. And that is, um, that is probably the overriding um, message that he, he gave.